hello guys do you think how computers communicating each other let's see in this video yes from network computer a and b sending message through network for network communications they created protocol protocol is it like set of rules and regulation yes it have some set of rules and messages that forms an internal standard mainly it have two types tcp ip and ftp here we are going to see about tcp ip layers tcp ip protocols have multiple layers like link layer we can tell as data link layer also then network layer transport layer application layer data link layer have ethernet and wireless lan like um, for fiber net and wifi i think comes under data link layer then the in network layer it have two version of ip address version 4 and 6 then in transport layer we have two protocols tcp and udp the top most layer is application layer here we have http tls dns we are not going to see this each type mainly we we will see about the layers yeah we already seen the layers application layer transport layer network layers data link layer physical layer physical layer means it's like a hardware we are going to use for this communications like wires that all this tcp ip protocols comes under like transport layer it comes tcp then in network layer it's come ip here computer a and b communicating through network for that we need network interface card for connecting to network traditionally we used that ethernet for connecting device in the wide local area network or wide area network in current days we are using fiber or optics how to know source and destination network path that means if we need to send one message from source to destinations we need the destination path how to know that yes from network address we seen already it have two version 4 and 6 4 have 32 bit 6 have 128 bit 128 bit bit is a recent versions we are using for video streaming mainly this ip address comes under the network layer we are not going to see elaborate about this ip address we need to know like this ip address comes under network layer and also this ip address have the source and destination path also in the network layer the data are also attached into this ip let's see how systems are interact each other within the same lan we can take some example the multiple systems are in the same room communicating each other 
by using this switch. Switch comes under data link layer. Then we are communicating each system with help of data link layer through network layer. Switch is responsible to move data, we can say frames, from one node to another. Frames have source and destination details. That means that IP address. Router is required if source and destination systems are in different network. Let's see how it's work. Here we have two different LAN network, local area network one and two. Within the network, the systems are connected through switch, but if it is to different network, then in this case, router is playing the role. Connecting two local area networks and send it back to internet. Take example, system A from network area one, sending one request to local area network two, then how it happened means the request sent from local area network one to router, then it will move to internet. Again, it's come to internet to router. The router check the destination switch, then it's move into local area network two switch. Then again, it's find that corresponding IP address for the system, then it's send the response to that particular system. The router has been used to connect to network system. Router is network layer, but we can also consider it is physical layer since it is an object. Let's see elaborate. Sender send message. The message is responsible in transport layer. The transport layer send a message in the form of packets. Then in network layer, it's create packet with header and tailor. We call it as frames. Also, we can call ethernet frames. Suppose that frame is bigger than the maximum limit, then it's split into multiple frames or packets and each package have physical address uh, with source and destination. Frames go to the data link layer. The data link layer check whether it have valid source and destinations. Then only it's enable node to node communication. Then it's go to that worldwide network then again, it, it comes under data link layer. Then the network layer merge the frames with this decryption key. Then it's moved to the transport layer. The transport layer is responsible to receive that message and send the acknowledgement to the sender. Let's see the transport layer. The transport layer provides end-to-end -end communication services for applications. The sender and receiver, once sender sent a request, then the receiver send back the response. Also, it acknowledge the message is received. Then application layer. Application layer is the layer closest to the end user. Implying that the application layer and the end user can interact directly with the software applications like the browsers, Google Chrome, Mozilla, Internet Explorer. So from the software applications, we can interact directly. Here, the user sent hello request with help of HTTP protocol. Again, the receiver response back to hi. It's, we can see this in that application layer like in the browser. One of the most often used protocol is HTTP, Hypertest Transfer Protocol. 
the foundation of the world wide web here i highlighted that http protocol slash google dot coin the hypertext transfer protocol enables us to access data via the internet it sends data in plain text audio and video format plains and servers exchange resources over the internet using the http protocol then now we comes under the summary let's see overall picture here john sending the request from that application layer like type that http colon slash google dot com in browser use of application layer then message process come to transport layer then message sent with a packet or we can say frame then the within the frames it add with a physical address then comes under the network layer network layer split the message also send frames along with header and tails it have the details destination path and the data then it comes under data link layer the data link layer verify if it is have sender and destination details properly if okay then it's allowed to send the global network then the global network again send back to the data link layer for the delivery then the data link layer check the destination path then allow to the network layer the network layer again merge the frames then the transport layer receive that message also it will send the acknowledgement to the sender then it sent to the receiver google.com application layer 